Hello, everybody. We are here after the Eastern Conference quarterfinals. We have Columbus Crew 2 head coach Kelvin Jones and Captain Xavier Zengue. We're going to take questions from Zoom, beginning with Gerald Lucas from Babel. Coach, you guys go into halftime up 2-1. What did you see out of there in the first half? Yeah, I, I think, uh, one, Chicago's really well prepared. I mean, figured that they were going to come out and press us pretty high. So uh, we probably shifted our game plan a little bit and went a little bit more direct uh, and able to get two really good, good goals um, off of a set piece and then an opportunity to goal. Brilliant. Um, then from there, we just kind of fine-tuning some things off the ball. Uh, as we knew, Chicago was quite good on the ball, quite dangerous in wide areas. Uh, to making sure that we're not just conceding the space um, for the, allow them to just get balls into the box that we have to then apply pressure to hopefully uh, win the ball back. So credit to Chicago, um, really good, really good match. Uh, to be fair, maybe the better team in, in certain aspects of the game. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's playoffs and uh, it's about getting the result. And the boys did an unbelievable job of getting the result. Despite, you know, finishing seventh in the in the league, you guys were the second best road team and also fifth best with uh, 30 goals year, this year on the road. You just talk about the the difference between home and away this year. Yeah, honestly, nothing. Uh, we, we, we don't change the approach. Um, you would say most teams probably aren't as good as on the road as they are at home. Uh, just goes to show you that we're going to play the way that we want to play and try to apply what we want to do. Um Another goal, another game where we've got multiple goals, and I think we're at sixty something goals on the year. Um, just a testament of, of the group and 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 sticking to uh, what we do. Um, and they've done an unbelievable job of continuing to score goals, and uh, whether it's on the road or at home. So honestly, no difference uh, in terms of our approach. Um, but it's always difficult to do it on the road, and that much more impressive that uh, the boys are able to do it on that much of a consistent basis. Xavier, I believe you were on the team last year uh, with an injury, so you didn't really get a chance with the playoffs last year. Mm -hmm. You guys are now going to the third straight conference finals. What's it feel like knowing that you were there last year to see the team go and, you you know, helping along some of the younger players this year? Uh, yeah, I mean, of course it feels amazing. Um, it's such a great opportunity for not only me, but just the whole team to, like, prove – that it doesn't matter what what we do, what we how we play, like we know we can win games. And uh, you know, obviously we've been hungry since the beginning of the season to come back to this exact same spot and even the finals. Like we've had these dreams from the very beginning of the season when we talked about it. And so um, you know, like in terms of guiding the young players, I mean, honestly, I, I try to provide them with as much as I can, but they also help me a lot. And uh, you know, I'd say it's more of a team effort and than anything of of to get here and uh we've all learned a lot from each other so i think it's part all that can you talk about learning a lot from each other what has uh Kata brought to the team you know with his time being here in columbus before then being with uh the rapids now he's back here what has he brought to help improve you know the back line i mean it's obvious if you watch our games now compared to when he wasn't here i mean it's uh it's night and day and he's helped me personally a lot because he's taught me a lot about maturing um, the reality of the game. Uh, and even before this game, you know, he told me like, be hungry. Like this is such a great opportunity for all of us. And, you know, obviously uh, Kata Buba, he's been, uh, been at the very highest level in the U S and uh, I think it shows in the games cause he's, he's our, he's a leader out there and he's helped me a lot in leading this team as well. Your goal. What'd you see? <laughs> I mean, Honestly, they tell me they say that defenders can't score goals, but I like to think of myself more as a the modern day center back. But um, no, honestly, I mean, I, I took the touch and I knew I had beaten the the guy that was pressing me, and so uh, I kind of saw it open up. And I had told myself, and I had heard also in the locker room beforehand that they had a a different goalie starting. So I was like, I'm gonna shoot this. I, why not? Uh, in practice, I was kind of taking some shots all week, and uh, they were going in a little bit. So. I said, why not? And it went in. And I couldn't believe it, honestly. So it was great. <laughs> Does coach uh, tell you if you see open wide shot like that, take it? <laughs> um, I mean, I hope he does. I think now <laughs> at this point, maybe, maybe now he uh he has a little more confidence in that. But yeah, I, I mean, honestly, in the moment, it just felt like the right thing to do. So that's just what I did. I didn't think too much. And I think that's something I've been focusing on, just being present, 
doing what my body tells me to do at the moment. You guys have both. This question is both for you guys. You guys have sort of struggled against Philadelphia Union too. Uh, they, you know, the team last year struggled against them, and then you guys struggled this year. What's it, you know, what's it gotta, what's it gonna take to go into West uh, Chester, you know, in the conference finals and uh, come out victorious? Yeah, the boys. We 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 know uh, they're a difficult opponent. We know that they the way that they play isn't uh, easy to play against, and they're they're quite good and dangerous on the counter. Uh, as many goals as we scored this year, they've scored just as many. So uh, we know that they are they are always dangerous and, and opportunistic. So um, we really just have to prepare and reflect on the times that we played them this year, um, and then just fine tune some things. As always, we 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 approach it uh, one game at a time, and and make the opponent try to adapt to us. So uh, as always, we'll, we'll work through the week and, and prep the boys as ready best as we can. And, and then they'll be ready. Yeah. Just to, I guess, go off of what he said. I don't think really a lot is going to change. I think we're going to focus on ourselves. Um, I mean, in my experience playing against Philly, of course, they're very difficult to play against, but um, you know, as long as we're active and we're coming out and showing our best, which I feel like we'll, we, we will be considering the occasion. Um, I'm not worried at all. So this is a two part question. First part is for you, coach. You uh you gave the the captain's armband to Xavier, you know, a couple times this year. What you know, what did you see in him that shows the captain, you know, mentality? And then the second part for you, Xavier, is is how do you feel that coaches entrust that uh, captain's armband? Yeah, one it, it it wasn't me giving the the armband to Xavier. It was the team. Um, he was unanimously voted uh, captain and leader of this group in preseason, and a testament to, to Xavier. Uh, he wasn't even back on the field yet, uh, and then he was voted captain. So the the leadership that he shows uh, this young group, and and the presence and the trust that these guys have in him, um, um, is it, self explanatory. Um, so. Xavier earned that with the, the his leadership um, in that moment off the field because he wasn't back fully playing. And then it only translates onto the field when he gets back and gets the opportunity to to play again. So I think everything that Xavier has gone through over the last 18 months uh, with his injury um, is a really good uh, learning moment, teaching moment, not only for him, but for this group uh, about resiliency, uh, the ability to come back. And, and like Xavier said, to be present in the moment. Uh, Xavier's done an unbelievable job of, of being present in the moment and um, has seized the opportunity. When he got back, uh, he's, he played right away. Uh, we talked about it just here at the end of the match. He He's played, uh, started the majority of the game towards the tail end of the season and didn't start these last two. Um, but when his time was called upon him today, he he rose to the occasion. So you can't ask for anything more out of, out of a leader. Um, many players in that moment when they're not playing, can get down on themselves and and go into a a little bit of a hole. But Xavier came to practice every day, pushing himself and pushing his teammates, uh, and it was ready for the opportunity when it came. So um, as much as, yeah, the, the coach gives you the armband, Xavier has earned that uh, himself. Yeah, and um, honestly, for me, one, I'll definitely say it's an honor to be uh, viewed in that light, I guess, by my teammates and the coaches um, to – to have them trust me enough to lead the group. Um, I will say it's been a learning experience for me. Um, in college, for example, I, I was a, one of the captains for the, my senior year, and uh, it was definitely a much different experience to this year because I had spent a lot less time with the group of guys and uh, a lot of things. But honestly, I, I've, I'm so grateful for the, the experience, and to lead this group has been really, really interesting and amazing. And obviously, I mean – we've we've all grown together and i think that's obviously shown on the field again uh we we're getting results and you know we're fighting for a trophy here so yeah i would be honored to lift the trophy as for this team but you know it's been it's been a great experience overall coach we saw during the uh the picking show for uh this uh quarterfinals round you know what philly's coach said about you know about you and playing columbus talking about it it being boring I know it might have been, you know, a little bit funny, but when you hear another team talk about playing a team, you know, four times and calling it boring, what kind of like fire does that fuel, you know, going into training to going up 
you know, to a game like this? Oh, no, no fuel to the fire. It's all said in jest. And I know Marlon well. And uh, I know uh, from the matches that we've had before, uh, it's far from boring how we how we are, are as coaches on the sideline. So uh, we know that uh, it will be a difficult match. Philly's a very well-coached team. Marlon's done an unbelievable job. Um, it will be a difficult match. And um, the great thing about it, and the great thing about this league, too, it's, it's two of the youngest teams in the league. Uh, playing for a conference final. I don't think you can ask for anything more for the opportunity uh, that these young players are getting. Last one. What's your message for the fans, both you guys? Uh, show up. We're in a conference final uh, away in Philly, and uh, all the support that we can possibly get is 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 uh, greatly appreciated. So appreciate all of the, the, the support throughout the year and the ups and the downs, and uh, hopefully we'll bring another trophy home for you guys. Xavier. Yeah. I mean, I'll say one, thank you for showing up for this game. We heard them out there and, uh, we felt that made a difference. And I mean, Columbus fans, they know what to do. They always do it every year. And, uh, I don't think this year will be any different. I, I know they'll be there and they'll be loud and, you know, they'll get us to through. Thanks you guys. And good luck on the conference final. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Gerald. Thank you, Kelvin and Xavier. We will be back on 